Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Venus Tremaine with a special coming and going video um, about John McCook. The question is, is he leaving Born and Beautiful? A few hours ago, I would have said no. He signed a three-year contract, but then Bold and Beautiful supervising producer Casey Kaspazirik Kes posted a photo of Eric Forster hanging over the mantle mansion with the post saying, filming 10 shows this week, and let's just say it's going to be very emotional for everyone. Hashtag Bold and Beautiful, hashtag Eric Forster. But some very legitimate sites reported that John McCook signed a three-year deal. But the picture the producer put up definitely looks like a funeral portrait with the flowers and everything along with the cryptic message. That's when I decided to do a little bit more digging and I found this. A woman named Chrissy wrote, I have a secret about John McCook to share. I don't get much engagement here, but I figured I would share anyway. The TV Insider article that shared that J.M. John McCook signed a three-year contract was based on an article I wrote for Celebrity Dirty Laundry. I pulled the details from an old 2017 article. The owner of the site encouraged me to write the article to get an influx of views. I would take that he signed a contract with a grain of salt. I, fabricate, I fabricated the whole thing. I almost didn't share this, but I wanted to come clean after so many believed it. I'd also like to point out that shortly after that, I stopped working for Celebrity Dirty Laundry. The owner and I had a huge falling out. I usually work to resolve issues, but I do not allow someone to talk down to me or insult me when they don't get their way. I have to come clean because I pride myself in being a factual blogger. So this has been eating at me since September. So now it's been confirmed that John McCook didn't sign a three-year contract. It looks like this really could be the end for Eric Forrester. Uh, John McCook is 79 and expressed a few years ago that he was ready to retire. So this really could be the end of the character. Now, since I've been saying for the last month that he signed a three-year contract, uh, this... this three-year contract, so this story really doesn't have an impact for me. I wanted to clear up things as soon as possible. I do not like being tricked into clickbait, BS. If I knew the original story came from Celebrity Dirty Laundry, I would have never reported it. I pride myself on being the soap news you can trust. And if I ever get it wrong, I'll let you know right away. So yeah, I do do a lot of due diligence. I do a lot of looking. There's only certain sites that I trust that give you accurate information. And there's only certain people that give me information will send me in my DMs information that I trust because the information they give me, you know, is usually right. But in this situation, not only did I, I get fooled, but a lot of sites got fooled with this. And so I am bringing it to you right away that John McCook did not sign a three-year contract. It looks like Eric Forster is a goner. And um, and it's going to happen pretty quickly because they only film like a month in advance. So for the holidays, we'll probably see the end of Eric Forster. So thank you for watching. I'll keep an idea on any up, an eye out for any updates on this story. Um, sorry I got fooled, but... Like I said, Celebrity Dirty Laundry, I stopped looking at anything on that site a long time ago. And to hear that the owner actually encouraged this false information from this lady, uh, it it just goes that some people care about clickbait more than they care about actually giving fans real information. I am not one of those people. So let me know in the comments what you think about this uh, little mini scandal. And I'll see you in the next video.